Hello, my name is Dave McCluskey and I'm an author. I write for my own company called Damaged Comics. Um, I write novels and graphic novels. Uh, my novels include a horror ghost story called The Twelve and a, a period thriller set in Liverpool in 1946 called In the Mood for Murder. Some of my graphic novels include a title called Interest in Times. And what Interest in Times is, it's a series uh, of short horror stories written in rhyme aimed at children and the younger heart. What I'm going to do to, for you tonight is I'm going to read one of those stories which I've written in um, the Interest in Time series and it's called Zed, A Love Story. And it goes a little something like this. Bernard worked in an office. It was on the 14th floor. His job was crunching numbers and it really was a bore. The one shining point about it was his amazing view the sprawl of old London town, bested by a girl called Sue. She co-worked in his office, right next to the canteen. He had been in love with her since he was about 19. He'd always been a shy boy, mostly round the girls, but he knew Sue was special cause she gave him stomach twirls. He'd wrote it out a thousand times, the mail to ask her out, but he'd never ever pressed on send, he didn't think he had the clout. His stomach churned, he broke a sweat as he gave his mouth a click. This time he'd gone and sent it, and the thought, it made him sick. I'd love to go for a drink with you. Did he read that right? I'd love to go for a drink with you. I'm free this Thursday night. Bernard didn't know what to do. His day right then was made. His smile had been from ear to ear. Nothing could make it fade. He'd sent the message Monday. He'd expected a slow tick, but the week flew by as there was lots to do, as loads had rang in sick. Thursday came, his nerves kicked in, tonight was the big night. A bit of food and some nice drinks, he hoped it would go right. He booked a fancy restaurant, he knew he'd left it late, but surprisingly there was a table and they were both booked in for eight. When Sue arrived he was lost for words, in beauty she was veiled. The restaurant was nice and quiet, while outside, sirens wailed. They floated home high on life, the date had gone just swell. The drink had flowed, they laughed and joked, they'd just got on so well. She asked him back for coffee, with a twinkle in her eye. Bernard couldn't believe his luck, and the rest, we shouldn't pry. Friday morning was lost in bliss, they both lived out their dreams. Floating to work both on cloud nine, oblivious of the screams. They arrived at the office, they'd hoped they'd cause a stare, but they were alone and it made them think that they knew they must defer. The day it was so busy, but their flirting was outrageous, while in the street chaos swelled from a virus so contagious. The day was done, they'd made a plan to meet by the station gate, the second date would be tonight, he'd meet her there for eight. Off they went their separate ways, Bernard's heart it was elated. At last he'd found his one true love, he no longer felt frustrated. He noted something really strange as to the date he walked. Something shuffled in the shadows with a smell he nearly balked. A gang of scruffy hooligans began to follow him en masse. Moaning, snapping, slobbering, he thought the youth today were crass. He began to walk a little faster, away from the gang of thugs. The way they lurched and moaned at him, they must have had bad drugs. To his relief a policeman went strolling by at pace. In Bernard's haste he didn't notice his torn and bloody face. At eight o'clock he made the station, Sue was nowhere he could see. Thoughts of gloom flashed through his head, but he spied her to his glee. She looked as if she'd not been home, and he had dressed so nice. He waved and called, but when she turned, his blood, it turned to ice. His skin was green, her mouth was wide, the stink caused him to gag. Her grasping arms reached out to him, the dirty undead hag. But this was Sue, the girl of his dreams, and although she was a sight, he held her close into a hug. She ripped his throat out with one bite. 
the zombie apocalypse spread so fast and killed off all humanity, but love it sparked in these lovers' hearts and spared them from insanity. Thank you very much.